now we are at surah al maarij a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim sa'ala sa'ilun bi azab min waqi' a petitioner has requested for the chastisement of god which will come anyhow lil kafirin laysa lahu da'fa for the disbelievers there is none who can avert this chastisement from coming now what is the meaning of these two ayat this quite a difference among the interpreters that who is referred to here who has requested for azab generally the mufassirin have said that it was a kafir disbeliever a mushrik of bakka namely hazr bin nasr bin haris nasr bin haris he had prayed to allah subhanahu wa taala and it has been mentioned in surah al anfal allahumma in kana hadha huwa al haqq min indika fa amtir alaina hijaratan min al sama oh allah if it is true what muhammad is saying and if his claim that he is the messenger sent by you is true then send on us a rain of stones this was actually to show to their people the common people that we really don't believe that muhammad is the messenger of allah had we any idea that there is a possibility of muhammad is the messenger of allah would we pray for this that the allah you could we pray to allah that you should send upon us a rain of stones so this is one interpretation but the other interpretation is that it was muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who requested the hastening of the chastisement for the people i had this idea but now i have and i can be very confidently saying this because shah abdul qadir rahimahullah in his famous muzih al quran he has also expressed this opinion This was the request from Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Oh Allah, don't give them more respite. Now the matter should be settled, and we have it. Wala taajal alehim. Don't be in a haste about them. So give them some respite. Fama hilhum. So this is in the same way. And because now you the pairs now of surahs al maarij, the second surah of this pair is surah al nuh, and we know. Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu was salam how he prayed for the chastisement and azab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so keeping these two surahs that they are together in in Quran it also supports the view that here the reference is to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam a petitioner has requested that the chastisement that has to come anyhow let it come early but when it comes none will be able to avert it from the disbelievers when allah is al maarij and it will come from allah who is the lord of the stairways of the ascent ascent to the heavens all these ascents you know they are owned and controlled by allah subhanahu wa taala tarud al malaikatu wa ruhu ilayhi fi yawmin kana miqdaruhu 50000 sana the ruh ar ruh that is Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam and the angels they ascend to him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a day which is equal to 50000 years this aya is definitely from ayatul mutashabihat we can't say what it means mostly people think that this is the day of resurrection the day of qiyama we are we shall have it in surah al muzammil yawma yajalu al wildana shiba so that is so long a day 50000 years of our reckoning and accounting but my view is wallahu alam that actually it means that as far as the angels and jibril and ruh also the arwah of human beings are concerned they need no time whatsoever in alam e amr i have said many a times this time factor doesn't exist the same instant jibril can be here 
at the same instant he can be on the arsh. There is no time. But if a thing which moves here in your material world with the highest possible speed that you can imagine, this distance is as much that the according to the material world, a thing will take 50,000 years to cover this distance. This is, in my opinion, the meaning of this ayah. And Allah knows the best. Fasbir sabran jameela. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they were patiently. Fasbir sabran jameela. With the patience of beautiful contentment. Sabr jameel. One sabr is that you have to take it anyhow. Although you are resenting from within. And the other is okay. If my Lord wishes this, okay. I am also pleased. I am happy. First be Sabran Jabila. Don't make haste. We want to give them respite. So you also please wait. First be Sabran Jabila. In Nahum Yaraun Nahum Baida. These people, they see that this chastisement or this last day, this day of resurrection or the Asa, it's very, very far away. Vadarahu Kariba. And we see it. It's very near. They think that it's very far off. While surely we see it, it's very near. Now, the scenery, scenario of that day. The day when the heaven shall be looking as a molten brass. And the mountains shall be as flakes of dyed wool. And no friend will be taking care of any of his friends. Nafsi, nafsi. Everybody will be thinking of his own soul. Somehow I should be saved. Nobody will ask anybody else. You must saruna whom. They will made to they will be made to see one another. They'll be seeing. He is my friend. But he is not caring for me. There is my father. But he is not caring for me. Here is my my son or brother. He is not caring for me. You must saruna whom. They will be made to see each other. Yamadul Mujrimu. The guilty will like and wish La Yaftadi min Azabi Yomazin. They would like to be ransomed him from the chastisement of the day by Bani, his own children, sons and daughters. Vasahibatihi Vahi and the wife and the brother. Vasilati Lati Tuvi and his whole family who sheltered him. Take them all, throw them in the hell. Say we please. لَوْ يَفْتَدِي مِنْ عَذَابِ يَوْمِ اِذِمْ بِبَنِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَاخِيهِ وَفَصِيلَتِهِ الَّتِي تُوْوِيهِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا And all who are in this world, take them all, throw them in the hell. But please spare me. Please save me. This subject comes in the last part also. In Surah Tawabas. يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ مَرُوا مِنْ اَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِيهِ from his father, from his mother, from his son, from his wife. Everyone will be thinking about himself. Kalla. Not, certainly not. Innaha lawa. That hell is a flaming fire. Nazat al shawa. It snatches away the scalp skin or the livers. Two meanings of shawa. This hell will call, come to me. Everyone who turns his back and he turns away and goes away. Not listening to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today you are not listening to him. On that day, hell will call you and pull you towards itself. Man adbara matawalla, who turn their faces and turn their backs. Vajama fa'awa. Throughout their lives, <coughs> they were busy in amassing wealth and then withholding it. Inna linsana khulita halu'a. Verily, surely, man has been created impatient. 
اذا مسو الشر جزوا when evil touches him he is mourning and groaning and weeping wa iza masaul khair wa manua and when he has some good some wealth then he wants to act niggardly and miserly illa al musallin from this character only those are exceptions illa al musallin who perform their salah regularly alladheena hum ala salatin daimun who are very constant regarding their prayers walladheena fi amwali maqum malum li sa'il wal mahrum and those in whose wealth there is a right known for the beggar and the deprived they don't think whatever allah has given us it is for our only use you know they think that there is a share for the poor that allah subhanahu wa taala has included in our wealth and we have to give it away lisail wal mahrum wal ladina yusaddiquna bi yawm ad-din and those who believe in the truth of the day of judgment day of recompense wal ladina hum min azab rabbihim mushfiqun and those who remain fearful of the chastisement of their lord in azab rabbihim ghairu ma'mun surely from the chastisement of your lord none should feel secure you should always be fearing it wal ladina hum li furujihim hafizun these ayat are very similar similar to the ayat number 1 to 11 of surah al mu'minun wal ladina hum li furujihim hafizun and those who guard their private parts that is they keep their chastity illa ala azwajihim except for their wives aw ma malakat amanuh or the concubines whom their right hands possess fa innahum ghairu malumin for them there is no blame sex is not even in itself no if it's permissible you are married you have wife okay you can have a sex and nothing bad so but for man فَمَنْ اِقْتَغَى وَرَا ذَلِكْ فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْعَادُونَ But those who seek more beyond these, then they are the transgressors. They will be brought to the book. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِأَمَانَاتِهِمْ وَحْدِهِمْ رَعُونَ And those who preserve their trust and their covenants. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِشَهَادَاتِهِمْ قَائِمُونَ And those who guard, who firmly stand by their testimonies. والذين هم على صلاتهم يحافظون and those who guard their salah no salah should go off they have to be very regular in it now see the all these qualities or characteristics begin with salah end with salah same was the case in surah al mu'minun qad aflah al mu'minun alladhin hum fi salatihim khashi'un walladhin hum anil laghwi muridun walladhin hum لفروجهم حافظون الا على ازواجهم او ما ملكت ايمانهم فانهم غير ملومين فمن ابتغى وراء ذلك فاولئك هم العادون والذين هم لاماناتهم وحدهم راعون والذين هم على صلواتهم يحافظون اولئك هم الوارثون الذين يرثون الفردوس هم فيها خالدون so these two places of quran they are very similar to each other but the most important point to notice that in, among all these characteristics first and last at both the process places is salah as salatu imaduddin this is the central pillar of our deen ulai ka fi jannat mukrabun these people will be honored in the garden of paradise famalil ladina kafaru qibla ka muhtadin whenever the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam stood in some public place to recite quran people ran to him from the right to the left to stop him so that picture is given here fama lil ladina kafaru qibla ka muhtadin what has happened to these people these disbelievers they hasten to you anil yamin wa anil shimal izin from the right and from the left in bands groups ayatuma kullum ray minhum an yudkhala jannatan the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam might have thought 
that they are coming towards the right path. They want to listen Quran. They are they are coming to me with good intentions. But no. Does every one of them wish that he should be entered into the garden of bliss? Kalla, not at all, nothing doing. This is not their intention. But they want to stop you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna khalaqnahum mimma ya'labu. We know, we, we created them from what they know. They know that we created them from the drop of sperm. فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِرَبِّ الْمَشَارِقِ وَالْمَغَارِبِ إِنَّا لَقَادِرُونَ But nay, and I swear by the Lord of all the East and all the West, that we are certainly able, عَلَى نُبَدِّلَ خَيْرَ مِنْهُمْ to substitute others better than they. When they die, in their place, we can create, we can give new bodies to them. And maybe, maybe those, those better, bodies will be better than these bodies that they have in this world. And we are not to be defeated. Whatever we wish, we'll do. فَذَرْهُمْ يَخُوذُوا وَيَلْعَبُوا So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa leave them for a while. To plunge into meaningless task, meaning, meaningless task, يَخُوذُوا وَيَلْعَبُوا and play. Until they meet the day, حَتَّى يُلَاقُوا يَوْمَهُمُ الَّذِي يُعَدُونَ Until they meet the day which they are being promised. يَوْمَ يَخْرُجُونَ مِنَ الْعِدَاسِ السِّرَاعَ When they will all come, come out from their graves hastily, running. كَأَنَّهُمْ إِلَى نُسُبٍ يُفِذُونَ As if they are racing to a goal post. As if when you are racing and you are competing with each other, in the same way these will come out from their graves and run. خاشیت ان افسارہم their looks will be downcast ترحقہم ذلہ and humiliation will cover them their faces will be showing the signs of humiliation ذالک اليوم اللذی کانو یعدون this is the day that day which they were promised that the day is to come that is the day of قیابہ 